Elhamdülillahirrahmanirrahim. Ve salatu ve selamu ala khayri khalqihi Muhammedin sa'ilin enbiya'i ve mursalin ve alihi ve sahbi ecma'in. Dear sisters and brothers and Afghan fellow English speakers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today is Monday, uh, May the 17th, 2021. And I'm Farid Yunus, uh, broadcasting from Toronto, Canada, Umid 24. Today I'm I'm talking about a very very important issue, uh, uh, which is extremely important in uh, Muslim families. If you claim to be a Muslim, and that's respecting of parents. Uh, many of our youth we hear, and I'm working with uh, uh, many families, uh, especially in the state of uh, California, uh, with their children. And um, uh, they, they have not learned how to respect their parents. Uh, respecting parents is, is a farce. It's just like, like um, prayers as far as farce on all um, human beings. It doesn't matter how, what age they are. And this is something that is missing in many families right now. Uh, and of course, uh, I will discuss the reasons uh, in another program. But in this program, I like to tell you that respecting your parents, respecting your father, respecting your mother is extremely highly important in Islamic culture and Islamic faith. Um, Parents have some responsibilities towards you. And these responsibilities ends at the age of 18. And this is also something that's misunderstood uh, by many, that once you reach the age of 18, you're an adult. And um, at this time, you have to make uh, your own decision. You can move out, you can uh, stay, you can... Um, you can um, rent your own uh, flat or apartment, uh, uh, find a job, uh, or go to school. Most Afghan parents, uh, out of love and compassion, they support their, their children, even if they are 25 and 28. <laughs> but, uh, and that's, that's very nice, because in the United States, they don't do that. They kick them out, and they... Let them go and find their way out and start living. But not Afghan parents. Afghan parents are extremely kind, compassionate, loving, and caring. But that does not mean that they should be taken advantage of or uh, being abused or disrespected. And I have some uh, uh, family issues that uh, uh, young girls and young uh, boys, even age of over 20, they are living with their parents and they do not know how to treat their parents. And it is, um, it is uh, a guna, a sin, when you are not respecting and listening to your parents. Even, lo let's listen to this, even if your parents are not believers, if your parents are not believers, you are supposed to respect them. You do not need to obey them in all aspects of life if they are not believers, but you, but you, but you have to respect them. This is what Islam teaches us. And the second thing that uh, is totally misunderstood is the relationship between parents and older children. Parents have a responsibility to educate you, nourish you, support you, and uh, do whatever they can until the age of 18. After that, they are not responsible. This is something that many children do not know. After that, they are not responsible. You are going to be on your own. Just like you make a decision about your 
college, you make a decision about your marriage, you make a decision about your career, you have to make a decision how to run your life. Unfortunately, in Afghan community, there are some girls and some boys who are living with their parents and they're over 20 years old. And at the same time, they abuse their parents, they disrespect them, they are not obeying them. And in these parents are Muslim parents. And as far as my investigation shows, they haven't done anything wrong. Now, first, let me talk about your father. Your father has uh, some responsibilities as a provider to provide you with, um, with everything. And then most parents and fathers keep telling you that to go to school and then finish school and make a living. But you are not listening because you don't have goal and objectives yourself. You have to have a goal and objective in your life. What are you going to do? Suppose your parents are dead and they are not there to support you anymore. Who is going to support you? So you have to stand on your feet. So, and the mother beside, beside them, even if, if that woman is not your mother, because some parents, um, the, the, the wife died or the father died uh, and they, 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 they married another man or they married another woman, it's still, but, uh, according to Islamic culture, you have to respect his wife. But I hear that the wife has been badly abused and she, she is not entitled to, to, to help you out or, or wash your clothes or anything. If she does, that's out of love and compassion for, this, for the institution of marriage and for this institu institution of family. But, but if, if your father married another woman and he divorced his wife and married another woman, you're supposed to respect that woman too. And the basis of Islamic culture is morality and ethics. It doesn't matter if it's not your biological mother, but you have to respect her. Not just because of your father, because of the dignity and integrity of human being. We all need to live in peace and we all need to live in, in, um, in, in, in a harmonious lifestyle. So the, the Quran says, Bil ihsana. you have to be kind and treat them uh, with respect. And respect does not mean just you say hello. But some of you even don't say hello to your father and don't say hello to his wife or your own mother, if it's your biological mother. And you're still living in the same, under the same roof. So if you're over 18 and you're living under the same roof, you have to go by the rules of that household. That's as simple as that. Just like you live in this country, United States, you are free, yes. You can make your own decision, yes. But you still need to live according to the rules and laws of this country. And respect the laws and rules and regulations of this country. And if you are not, then you are not a civilized person. Because Islam came to make us first, to make us civilized. And then to make us moral. And then to make us just. So if you are not respecting the laws of this country, and if you are not respecting the rules and regulation of this country, you are not a civilized person. For example, uh, on a street uh, written, uh, or the sign says, uh, 
30 miles per hour and you are driving 50. You are not a civilized person because you are breaking the law. And family is the smallest unit of a society in Islam. Family is the smallest unit of a society. So in this uh, the smallest unit, there are some rules and regulations and laws within the family. And the first law and rule is mutual respect. And especially if you are over 20 and you are living under the roof of, of, of the same household, you have to abide by the rules and regulations of that household. It doesn't matter that your father is your biological father or not. It doesn't matter if your mother is your biological mother or not. Because you are dependent on them. They are not dependent on you. They are not dependent on you. You are dependent on them. So you have to live by their rules. So first of all, without rules and regulation talking about these issues, respecting parents is farce on every single Muslim at any age, at any age. Arguing against them is forbidden. Forget about disrespecting them and abusing them and all that. Even, even you, if you have a, if you have a, if you have a point to make, you can make your point with respect, with uh, politeness, with uh, uh, you need to uh, choose your words, how you speak to your parents. So, but they are not your, they are not, they are, they are your parents. They are not your. Uh, some strangers or friends or something like that, you could say anything you like. No, but when you speak to your parents, you need to speak to them with dignity and integrity, politeness, choose your words, what to say and what not to say. And the Quran says even, off. do not even utter a, a kind of uh, a, a word that displeases them. So, now uh, some of you, uh, you have a, a stepmother. And that's fine. That is your, your, your father's wife. She has some right in that house. And the house is 50% hers, not you. It's not your house. It is hers, and it's your father. So they allow you to live with them, and that is because they want to support you financially. Because you are not able to provide for yourself. So if that's the case, you better live with the rules and regulation of, of, those, of that couple. If you are not happy, why don't you go and get a job and live in peace with yourself? But remember this very clearly, that your parents are not supposed to support you all your life. That's why in, in, in um, civilized society, societies, that's why in societies that there are some rules and regulations, we have age of 18, we have teenagers, we have age of 21, we have driving age, and all that is designed for your own uh, uh, felicity and happiness and how you should live by rules and, and, and regulation of that society. Even in Islam, I remember in, in Afghanistan, even children of age of 14, 15 were supporting their parents. Now you are over over twenty five, and you want to be, and you 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 are dependent on your on your on your father. You are not able to find a job. You can't do anything. And lying down at home, 
without doing nothing, you could go and get a job in a, in a, in a fast food restaurant. Why not? We all started like that, our lives in this country. But make a living. Don't be a lazy slut to, to depend on, on somebody else. Uh, I've been working on two, three cases of, of um, family relations these days. And it really uh, bothered me when I see that children, just because they know some computers and they know some um, uh, uh, technological things and this and that, they totally forget that they are the children of a couple. And those couples, they have some rights on them. And the first and most important right is right of respect. But unfortunately, some of you are missing this. It's either because you don't read the Quran or you don't read Islamic texts to understand that your parents have some rights on you. And this is the decree of the Quran. So they are I don't know, so many hadiths of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu that even um, you, will, you, you will not be forgiven by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala if you disrespect your parents. We can have difference of opinion with our parents. We have our own views. Yeah, why not? But that those views and point of views need to be addressed politely, respectfully. And if you're over 20, it's time that you start supporting your parents. If not financially, at least you need to support them spiritually. So they should feel good that, wow, I have some, I have some good children. When you were kids, they spent a lot of time on you to raise you. And now some of you said, well, I didn't, I didn't want them. To, why did they bring me to this world? Well, you, 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 you came to this world, but all of us, when we come to this world, there are some cultural values that we should follow. There are some ethical principles that we should follow. There's some moral principles that we should follow. So don't blame your parents why they, they, they bring you to this world. The most important thing is that if you're living with your parents, and if you're over 20, you need to live by the rules and regulations of your parents. If you're not happy, that, that, that is possible that you may not be happy for any reason. Then you better get a job and then establish your own life. Most Afghan parents, they say, go in a study, go in a study, go in a study. But when you don't have a goal and objective and you can't find your way out and are still dependent on your parents and you are almost 25, 26, 28 years old, that's not the problem of your parents because they have told you over and over and over what to do in life. Now that you're an adult, it's not their job to keep telling you what to do. You need to think for yourself, establish goal and objectives, and see what can you do for yourself. But most of you, you want to not only disrespect your parents, you take advantage of them. You, 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 you kind of treat them like a milking cow to just give you money, buy you a car, and you have fun and good time without doing nothing for your parents or for yourself. 
I'm very upset today because of this situation and so many families that I got some phone calls. And my advice to parents is this. Why don't you let them go and find their way out and start living by themselves? They have to find a job. When we came to this country, I started my, and I didn't have my parents here when I came, but I started with dishwashing. What's wrong with that? To make an honest money and be independent and be on your own, what's wrong with that? Why should we be dependent on our parents all our lives? There are parents who are extremely supportive and they are extremely um, kind and compassionate and want to support you. But all they need is respect. This does not mean, again, I'm mentioning this to you, this does not mean that you should not express your views. But you need to express your views with respect and dignity and integrity and make your decision. But most importantly, have your own goal and objectives. Have a, you're 28 years old and are still hanging around doing nothing. You are 26 years old, 26 years old, people already finished highs. Some people even finished their PhDs at the age of 26. Yes, I know some people who finished even their PhDs at the age of 26. They go and have a, a stand somewhere in the city, corner of a city, and then um, sell juice, orange juice, and donuts, but they still make a living, and a beautiful living. Why can't you do that? So... This is my recommendation to you. If you're living with your parents, live with decency, respect, and integrity. You need to follow the rules of their home. I hear that you leave your room totally messed up and not cleaning. And then your mom, and you're over 25, your mom go after you and keep cleaning your room. Is that fair? Of course not. Or you eat at the table and then leave your plates in the sink without washing your plate. Is that fair? And you're not going to school to educate yourself and you keep changing, you keep changing majors. And this is another bad quality of life that you are not a decision maker. You have to learn how to make a decision in your life. And then, if you're living with your parents, they don't mind. But respect them, live by their rules, and respect his wife if it's not a biological um, mother for you. Or if it's not a biological father for you, respect them, listen to them, do what's required of you to do. If you haven't got e educated yet, go and get educated. They will support you. Because that's the most important thing in our life as, as a Muslims, education. And they will support you. But follow the rules of their household. And don't argue with them nonsense. I mean, last two, three days, I'm working with two young fellows that totally nuts and they drive their parents nuts. Then if you are over 26, 27, 28 years old, why don't you go and make a living for yourself? Why, like a parasite or parasite, why are you living on somebody else's assets and property and, and all that? Even if it's your father. 
It happens that he may not like to give you his wealth or money or anything like that. He may give it to you, but you need to earn it. You need to earn that. And that comes with respect, obedience, supporting your parents. So, and parents, let your, let your children go out and, and make a living. When they face and expose to hardship, they wake up. Why you keep them at home? What is the reason that keep them at home? What do you do with it? The, the, the Quran says, fitna. Your assets and property and wealth and your children is a fitna. When you have a son or a daughter who is not civilized, they are not listening to you. They are keep creating problems. Mess up your own lives. You have some rights to live too. Why you keep them at home? Let them go. Let them go to wake up. Learn some, some learn living. I'm very surprised that we are living with such a stupid kids sometimes. Totally stupid. If you talk to them politely, if you advise them, if you teach them manners, they never listen. So why we should be listening to them? We did our best from age five to six to 18. And after that, if you are not well mannered, if they are cuckoo, if they are uncivilized, let them be like that because your responsibility, my dear parents, is over. You don't need to living with this mess all your life. There's nothing wrong to be compassionate. There's nothing wrong to be loving and caring. But there are some rules and regulations and principles, ethical principles, moral principles for all sides. I'm really surprised for some kids that I'm not like that. I'm not a morning person. I, I don't want to say hello. I don't want to say uh, to, 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 to see this and to see him or to see her. Then go and live by yourself. Why, why are you staying with your parents with your such, such mindset? Uncivilized mindset. You can't afford to live by yourself. You can't feed yourself. You can't rent a house and you're almost like 30 years old. Do nothing. And still, you want to rule your parents. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Learn some respect. Read the Quran. Read our Islamic text if you claim to be a Muslim. That how much weight Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put on us to respect our parents. You don't need to agree with your parents on all matters, but you have to make your point with respect. You don't need to live with your parents if you're over 20, but if you live with them, live with their rules and regulations because you are dependent on them. Even you're over 20, still you are dependent on them. So, I think I said enough about this. Open the Quran, see, see what the Quran tells you about respecting parents. Open the had hadith of the Prophet Wasallam. what the hadith tells you about. I don't need to keep quoting you. I'm just telling you that this is a farce, the most important obligation in your life. وَلَقَدْ كَرَمْنَا بَنِي أَدَمْ I have given mankind dignity and integrity. Your dignity and integrity is, is respect of your parents, respect of yourself, respect of your neighbor, having a moral principle in your life. And they tried their best. 
but you failed. I'm Farid Yunus, and this is Omid24. Have a nice day.